the sleep function for um, your scala electric drives. Um, first, let's try to take a look and see how this drive, this particular E7, is programmed. The easiest way to do that is to go into the Modify Contents menu. You can see we're set up to uh, take our run command out from the keypad. Um, we've got our PI mode enabled. Um, we've got a gain or an integral time that seem appropriate for our application. Um, we've got our sleep level at about 35 hertz. We'll try to remember that. We also have our sleep delay time of about five seconds. Um, we have got this configured to take an internally sourced um, PI set point, which is 900 CFM. We've got set point scaling um, for this transducer. It's a 0 to 2500 CFM transducer. Um, and obviously we have our units displayed as CFM on our display. We've got an XL and a D cell time set up a little bit more aggressively than factory default. And an LCD contrast to help us, you know, for the video purposes. Um, we're going to get ready to run here. Though we really don't want to look at frequency reference. We're much more interested in output frequency. So I'll, I'll show output frequency, our PI set point, and our PI feedback. Um, we'll give it a hand com uh, run command and let it run. What we should see is that it should start to regulate. It'll take a couple seconds to start accelerating up to uh, speed. We'll watch our feedback go up there. and should, after a little bit, stabilize. And at that point, I will change the damper position so that we uh, actually get better airflow and are forced to run at a slower speed, which will put us into our sleep. So we got decent regulation going now. I'll adjust the damper. Which causes us to drive to run slower. Now, we might cycle in and below 35 hertz first, but if it's not five seconds, the drive won't go to sleep. But it should stabilize somewhere below 35, which will put us into a sleep condition. Now, when we do go into sleep, as we just did there, the PI loop internally is still running. So now that the feedback's dropping, the error is increasing, so the internal PI loop starts to go up. And as soon as it goes above 35 hertz, we pick back up. Now, the problem we're going to see here is with this damper position, and because the damper position doesn't require much speed, we are going to actually continually cycle in and out of sleep here. It should go back to sleep here in a couple more seconds. And it would continually do this. Um, so obviously this is not an optimal setup. That sleep level would not work with this damper position on this drive.